The blue line making its way out of the station. Our setting tonight, Boston, Massachusetts. Hi, everyone. Time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports. Tonight, we'll see the Boston Celtics as they play against the Philadelphia 76ers. With Greg Anthony and Chris Webber, this is Kevin Harlan. David Aldrich will be reporting from the sidelines. And nothing tips off a broadcast like getting the lowdown from the sidelines. And we've got David Aldridge there for that. David, good evening. David, he has been a great addition. Thanks for that report. Now we get a chance to check out some stats for Ben Simmons. His effective field goal percentage, a favorite stat of the analytics crowd, has been on the way down over his past 10 games. His game isn't as well-rounded as it needs to be. Look at the 76ers starting group. Howard is out there with Joel Embiid. And it's Green, and there's Tobias Harris. And it's Simmons in at the point guard position. And for the Celtics. On the small four with Tatum holding down the four spot. Walker in smart, the guard. And it's Thompson in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Do you uh, remember, Greg, if you watched the standings very much when you played? You know, we were always... championships and we talked a lot about home court and having that in come postseason time. Absolutely aware of where you were uh, because of the goals you've set, but I think that also changes depending on who you are as a team. And if you're a championship caliber team that's won it, maybe you're in the midst of a dynasty run, it may not matter as much because you know how good you are and you can win no matter where the venue. Thompson misses. Here's Philadelphia. It's a three point game. They defeated the Wizards in their last game. Well, it's easy to score when you're facing very little resistance. That's why their offense looks so good in that one. Yeah, but you also got to give credit to their offense, too. I mean, they exploited every hole they saw in the defense. Harris outside. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Lock at six. Simmons passes to Embiid. A three ball. A shot missing. Good D by Thompson. The Celtics have gone one of three from the field to start this. Oh, oh that was an impressive throwdown. Yes. He is hyped after that slam. Smart giving us some entertainment. Simmons looking around. Passes it to Harris. Releases from 15. And that one drops. Poor design there defensively. They, they know he's a knockdown shooter from that spot. Oh, yeah, that's one of his go-to spots. I mean, you have to pressure him in that mid-range area. It's stolen by Green. Here's Embiid. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. And pushing it up, here's Boston. Walker's running. The Walker's a blur in transition, end to end in the blink of an eye. Philadelphia's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. So the wing on the left. 
There's Embiid. And Thompson sends it back. And it's out of bounds. The 76ers able to retain possession here. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And, and early in a game, these sorts of plays really can set the tone. Here is Howard. And Howard with the stuff. And here's Smart. He's coming off a 19-point game against Toronto. Walker with it. Now guarded by Simmons. Pass to Tatum. Let's it go that's from great. deep. And looks like the illegal pick was set. That yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable, it creates that much of an advantage for the offense. You have to blow the whistle. Yeah, you can't blame the ref for making that call at all. The defense in general is already at such a disadvantage as it is. Now, here's Brown following the missed shot by Tobias Harris. Shots good by Walker. And Walker is what we call thirsty. He's thinking of firing as soon as he gets the rock. Great presence of mind from the point guard. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. Trying to find some answers offensively. Some bad shot selection as well as some bad luck. I mean, that's not going to help you score points. Already it's February. Let's see how the East is matching up. And take a look at the 76ers. They're sitting pretty in second place and looking to take the top spot. And, of course, there's the Celtics just way behind. And, you know, for Boston, they've had such a disappointing season. Even when they've gotten a little bit of momentum, they haven't been able to keep it going. No, and, and it's frustrating. It's frustrating to everyone, the players, the coaches, the fans. I mean, there was the idea that they might struggle, but now reality is setting in. And everyone wants Simmons to add a consistent outside jump shot. But while that's a work in progress, he does just fine at the rim. An incredibly adept finisher up close. That's good from Simmons. And C. Webb, as you said with Simmons, when he's going at the rim, he's as good as it gets. Oh, yeah, G.A., great blend of size, speed, and strength. He controls his body to create space. He can lay it up from unorthodox angles with ease. And so he hits both. I mean, you got to love the skill set uh, Simmons possesses. A nightly triple-double threat. Uh, he stuffs the stat sheet. Walker finds Brown. Thompson for three. The shot's good. Brown making the play. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. Here's the pass to Howard. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Embiid, the pass to Simmons. Goes up to the stripe. Three-pointer. And Joel Embiid gets the three. You have to at least honor the big man's outside shot. I mean, and when you don't, Embiid is capable of burning you in. And Walker kicks to Brown. Dwight Howard pulls it in. The 76ers trail by three. Shot from 12. No good off the back of the rim. Austin's gone three or four on three-pointers in the first quarter. Doing well from long range. Hangs home the trifecta. Well, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. That one is good from Joel Embiid. Can't let Embiid get comfortable inside. When he's this close, he's adept at burning the defense. Smart dishes to Thompson. And stolen by Simmons. And oh, here we go with Green. Nobody back. Yes, that goes in. Green's got five. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yeah, you can tell they love to get out and run when the opportunity is there. The defense a step slow, and you can see the result. And Simmons kicks to Harris. Shoots over Brown. Harris misses. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here 
in this quarter in terms of score. And it's Thompson with the jam. You know, some scouts thought Tatum had tunnel vision looking only for his own shot. But he's more about team. And Philadelphia calls time here. And when talking about Tatum, it's hard not to think back to 2017 when Danny Ainge traded back to three, essentially choosing him over Markel Fultz. Yeah, and now Fultz is starting to pick it up a little bit, though. He's, watch him, he's going to be dynamic. But you're right, certain deals can define a franchise. And Ainge, he's unafraid to take chances. Green finds Harris. Here's Simmons. to Howard down to five on the shot clock 16 feet away Simmons can't get it to go you, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open uh, I like smart being aggressive by the time getting into the lane using his power and speed to his advantage now here's Simmons he's been putting up the points on a very steady basis averaging around 17 and a half points a game Thompson sends it down. You can see the frustration in the quarter on his face, especially with his team trail. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, they've been very aggressive, and they've taken early control of this game. Here's Harris, and the shot is long. Well, he has to work harder to get a good high percentage look. I mean, he's been taking some bad shots off unwilling to let up even for a moment that's his killer instinct just fanning the flame oh, yeah, and that's what you love about him he shows no mercy even with the comfortable lead he has shot them in the foot with his inability to make shots tonight and the basket by tatum and you look at it eight of the last 10 points they've given up here coming in transition and so simmons will bring it up for the philadelphia 76ers down by 15. Here's Harris. Harris missing again. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Awful display for him so far. But you know he's going to keep working to try to turn it around. <laughs> Just flying up and down the court. Nine straight in transition. And here is Simmons after Marcus Smart got his shot to go from deep. Passes to Harris. missing again uh, a team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy and theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter uh, you can't look at the result of that shot they'll take that whenever they get it well, you're exactly right i mean that's the kind of shot you're trying to work for at the offensive end walker the pass to thompson tries from 16 that one wide left the 76ers trail by 15 Here's Green. Walker with some nice D. Look, they say there are no easy finishes in the NBA, but that should be easy. And finished off by Brown. And the determination of Brown is phenomenal. No one is going to stop these shots from going down. Austin shooting their first free throw of the night. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Austin making some changes. Luke Cornett is checked in for Tristan Thompson. Robert Williams comes in for Jason Tatum. And Evan Fournier is subbed in for Marcus Smart. Then for the 76ers, Shake Milton, he's checked in for Howard. Seth Curry comes in for Danny Green. And Maxie's subbed in for Ben Simmons. That free throw good from Brown. Looking at current NBA players, Greg, leaving aside the real star players, who would you love to have played with from this era? And there's so many guys that, you know, and I hate to call them role players because they bring so much more to the table. But in reality, they got to fill some roles, right? And, you know, John Collins is a guy who's got great potential, a, a tremendous finisher around the, the rim. How about Robert Covington, a smooth shooter who, who defends his tail off. Davis Bertans, a, a deadly floor spacer who, who can put the ball down and, and create and make plays. So there's so many guys like that in the league that make a difference in determining whether your team can win or lose. Boy, those are three names I don't know that I would have mentioned, so I'm glad you did. Here's Curry after the basket by Boston. Pass to Harris, six to shoot. 
over Williams. Here's Embiid. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. What energy from Embiid. He, he brings a ton of intensity on the glass. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? Well, free throw drops for Embiid. And it's crazy to think how soft a touch Embiid has on his shot. The, the league rarely sees a guy with his size have such a rhythmic form shooting. Yeah, and Embiid has always been comfortable shooting outside. Not the best percentages from deep, but enough to keep defenders honest. His touch shows up most when he goes into his post fade. The 76ers trail by 17. Harris's shot is off. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Williams can't get it to go. Philadelphia's gone three or four on three-pointers in the first quarter, doing well from long range. Well, such an efficient score. You know, if you give Harris these opportunities, he'll punish you from there. Walker the pass to Cornette. Williams trying to break free. Cornette can't get it to go. The 76ers shooting just 35% to start the game. A three-pointer is right on target. Harris has got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for Philadelphia. Here's Neesmith. And again, unable to change momentum here. The pass to Maxi. Embiid with a 29-point game for him in the win against Washington. It was his rebound that stood out even more than me. I mean, uh, they could not keep him off the glass. He's been dominant this quarter. I mean, he's determined to prevent the lead from getting any bigger. For Philadelphia, they have made three free throws so far. Haven't missed any. Celtics making a switch here. Parker's checked in. game of Paris. He's even been good from the free throw line. Celtics leading by nine. Neesmith, the pass to Cornette. One sixteen left to play in the first quarter. A nice shot by Neesmith. And the defense is in disbelief here. Triple after triple. Now the 76ers with it. They're on an 11-3 run. Side Harris. That's tipped. Just doing the job on the back roof. Here's Williams. And the bucket is good. Three point play chance here for him. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to summon up a little more sense of urgency. A serious talent when Robert Williams is healthy. He makes his presence felt. Has great length and lift off the floor. Defensively, he protects the rim and even blocks shots out on the perimeter. Matisse Thibel checked lane. in for Seth Curry. And on top of the talent, the, the physical ability, w Williams, just a coachable kid and really picks things up quickly. Now here's MB. He's got eight, and here's Harris from the arc. It's rebounded by Neesmith. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. My goodness, that was absolutely filthy. Oh, nasty. This building is stunned. He dug deep, Greg, into his bag of tricks there. It's tipped. They retain possession. Austin leading by 15. Al Fournier in the game against Toronto. Very impressive. From deep. And the Celtics hit again from deep. Yeah, they built up this lead three points at a time. Oh, yeah, they certainly found something along the perimeter. Just an onslaught of three-point bomb. What a performance for Jason Tatum. He has been the story so far for the Boston Celtics. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. We'll get right back to the action when we return.
And chatting earlier with Ben Simmons, he addressed the scrutiny that players have to deal with on a daily basis. And with social media now, Greg blocking out the noise has become for these players even harder. I mean, truth is, people like to criticize others. We should be celebrating what Simmons has accomplished at a very young age. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And for the Celtics here, they've been putting on a show, guys. Just a terrific first quarter, sparked really by their unselfishness. Oh, yeah. Love the ball movement so far. Everything clicking at the offensive end. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. And so in the game for the 76ers, Harrison and Bede together in the middle. Actually out there with Hill. And it's Thibault in at the three. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Harris's shot is good. And that was the correct play to make George Hill a very discerning playmaker. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, guys, if you can believe it, before Jalen Brown went to the draft, one executive said the Cal Berkeley star was too smart. Brown says when athletes are also informative, it can intimidate. We get pushback for our outside interests. The whole shut up and dribble movement is big, and I'm a part of that movement. Guys? Strong story, DA, there. Thanks. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it just feels a lot bigger. Harris fouled on the shot and picks up two points, so one free throw coming up. That's just the big boy muscle of Harris, a real energizer who just fights through contact on his shots. Greg, you and I have talked about how the NBA Finals used to be tape delayed. What's the value of fans getting to see the broadcast live now as opposed to tape delayed as it was back in the, in the 70s? Isn't that a, weird to even think that that's it the is. case? I know but, it. You know, <laughs> I, I think, Kev, that the fans, they just feel more connected to their favorite teams, the end players. It creates more anxiety, right? Because nowadays there's nothing that can happen that you don't know about it, whether you see it or not. Uh, so live sports, uh, especially the NBA Finals, the anticipation, that anxiety that we talked about, man, I, I'm still a fan to this day in a different way. Uh, so I can only imagine when you have a personal vested interest in the team, what that's got to feel like. Edge of your seat, you're right. Philadelphia with the ball, following the bucket by the Celtics. Forget about going for the long-range bomb to cut into that lead. Just take it to the hoop, my friend. And how brilliant throwdown. Smart misses. The 76ers trail by 15. Here's Maxi. No good on the triple. Three on three. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on Harris. The Celtics have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. Shooting two. And that one falls for Williams. Howard's checked in for Philadelphia. And both free throws good for Williams. The 76ers trail by 17. Hill deciding where to go with it. Pass to Maxi. Here's Feibel. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. That's on Evan Fournier. The 76ers have yet missed a free throw. Five for five. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Yeah. 
First one falls for. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And guys, this is the way to stay in the game. They're doing a masterful job from the line. Perfect this quarter. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Feibel. Fires from deep. And that one's good. Maxi. Maxi's got eight points. Oh, don't forget about this fella for a second. He is the definition of dangerous. So the Celtics called timeout their first. Their last meeting was in Philadelphia, where they were unable to fight off the 76ers. Well, if they want to avoid the outcome of that first meeting, they'll need to be stronger on the glass. They were completely outmatched in the last one. They needed more fire and intensity tonight. Even if they don't win the battle of the boards, they have to put up a fight. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Tatum, he's checked in for Nisman. And Jalen Brown subbed in for Fournier. Smart against Hill. Pass to Harris. Good, and it's Hill picking up the assist. Hill's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Uh, not just the jump shooter. Harris is also comfortable looking to score from these spots, too. Tatum. He can't hit that time. Now the 76ers take it the other way. Pass to Thibel. For the three. Rebounded by the Celtics. They led the game at one point by 20. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Uh, well, that's the thing. Tatum's sneaky. He understands how to put the defender at a disadvantage. Greg, when you played for the Knicks, I always heard that Charles Oakley would cook for the players. Is that true? Absolutely. Oak was very particular about his food. And I got to tell you, he knows his way around the kitchen. And to be honest, I would never tell him otherwise. Take a break. Well, what was his special? Two Whatever seven. he made, it was special. <laughs> it wouldn't matter. And that one falls for Tatum. And, of course, the Celtics traded back from number one to number three to draft Tatum in terms of readiness and absolute steal. Thompson, he's checked in for Boston. Ben Simmons, he's checked in for Philadelphia. And so Tatum nails them both. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Upside, Simmons. The pass to Harris. From deep three-point range. Rebounded by Smart. Smart's got four rebounds now tonight. He's pulled down a little bit after training those two three-pointers in the first quarter. Hill passes to Harris. Good. The assist goes to Hill. 22 points for Tobias Harris. And so it's smart. He'll bring up the ball for the Celtics. 13-point lead. This game coming on the heels of their win against Toronto. Yeah, I felt like they attacked, but with a purpose. They knew what they wanted to accomplish coming in. Uh, aggressiveness is everything, and they certainly played with a ton of it to get that win. No good from Simmons. Austin leading by 15. It's picked off. Simmons slams it in. With the versatility of Simmons astounding, amazing, impressive. Dunks like this are just insane. Bobbed up there for Thompson. And so the ball out of bounds. Howard touched it last. And, and a chance here to look at the numbers for Ben Simmons. He's right around 17 points tonight. Seven assists and seven rebounds. And he has been passing the ball like a virtuoso. That's what really stands out about these recent performances. Hey, every symphony needs a conductor. He unifies his teammates, sets the tempo, and they make some sweet, sweet music. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. To the middle. Free throw line jump shot. And it's Simmons. That time on the assist by Hill. 
And that's now six points for Ben Simmons. Here's Tatum. It's hauled in by Harris. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. And taken away by Brown. And here comes Brown. Leading the fast break. Shots good by Walker. Oh, what incredible precision. Brown cutting the D to pieces with his pass. And Simmons kicks to Hill. Green passes to Harris. That one, no good. Playing him tough inside. Air bit the layup. Gotta get the whole team pumped up. And it's off the back rim. No good. From deep. 76ers with the new shot clock. Hill, no good. Austin leading by 15. Here's Tatum. Simmons pulls it in. And, and what a factor Ben Simmons is on the floor. Does so much for this team in every facet of the game. He's a triple-double threat whenever he suits up. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's something we saw a lot from Brown as an amateur. The ability to draw fouls and get to the line. And sometimes people forget just how young Ben Simmons is, Greg. This is just the beginning for him. I mean, and that's what fans are missing about Simmons, his age. I mean, you can worry about his shot, but he has a long time to figure it out. He, he could end up having a Jason Kidd type of career break. where he becomes a solid shooter later on. And he makes the first. A player who does special things off the floor. Jalen Brown is an amazing role model for young kids. Very active on speaking about the importance of education and learning new languages himself. Boston making a switch here. Williams is checked in. Shake Milton, he's checked in for the 76ers. Curry comes in for Danny Green. them both here's Simmons six points for him Harris outside knocked away and stolen by Tatum a finish and finish off by Brown and this is something we saw in college Tatum gets his hands on the ball causing deflections and steals now here's Simmons Eight points his last outing. Outside Curry. A three-pointer off the mark. Celtics leading by 19 points. Walker with it. And it's Howard picking him up. Count that one. Brown's got 10 points now just in this quarter. His energy level has never dropped in this game. I mean, he's working his tail off. And the deep struggling to keep up. And the 76ers call time here. And he's been trying to do it all himself. And, and it's not working. Instead of forcing shots, you got to focus on moving the ball and keeping everybody involved. And let's take this chance now to break out the list of the league's leading teams in the steals department. The 76ers third. You, you can't get careless with the basketball against this group. I mean, they'll pick your pocket. And, and no surprise to see them in the upper echelon as far as steals. Walker against Simmons. Harris outside. Oh, the lob for Simmons. Did you see the no-look pass by Harris right there? I mean, he's a wing that knows how to move the ball. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for Boston. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Howard's got rebound number five here tonight. Tells you a little something about their team. They've been able to pull in front despite his troubles tonight. The assist is the key to that sequence. I mean, a great look to set him up. Walker the pass to Thompson. He kicks it to Tatum. Trying to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. 
On its way from Curry for two, and it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Curry's got five now. Oh, it's all about the assist on that play. He puts it in the perfect spot. Thompson outside. Loads it up for Williams. The shot will not fall. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Oh, I'm always surprised when it doesn't happen. I'm sure these two will have a good laugh about it later. Oh, he's been dominant this quarter. I mean, he's determined to prevent the lead from getting any bigger. Tatum on the wing. Brown outside. And they double up Brown. Whoa! What a finish! Run that back. I, I want to see the replay now. <laughs> That's amazing, the creativity. And, and you see how fluid an athlete Tatum is. Now here's Simmons. He's got eight. For three, Harris. And Tatum pulls it down. And a wide open look for Walker. Cans the shot with nobody near him. Walker's got four points in the quarter. Oh, the timing couldn't have been better on that assist. Simmons with it. He's picked up by Walker. Simmons against Walker. Shot's good by Simmons. He's got 10. And his shot, I mean, it's come around. I mean, for most of the first quarter, it looked like he might be in for a long night. Now, here's Walker. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Toronto. And while he was doing that, I mean, dropped in buckets. He was keeping everybody else involved, too. I mean, he had a tremendous night facilitating. Here's Simmons. After the basket by Boston. Bounce pass for Milton. Simmons against Williams. And it's out of bounds. The 76ers able to retain possession here. And a chance here to take a look at the numbers for Harris. Second and three-point field goal percentage. And he sits in the top 15 in points per game. An absolute powerhouse offensively. And back to your point, he's second in three-point accuracy. A lot of that has to do with mental toughness. It's just hard to force him out of his comfort zone. Clock is at three. Simmons. And then Simmons slams it in. Can't afford to lose Simmons in the screen of row. When you do, he torches you for that mistake. Outside Tatum. On deep. Hope they get it back. Here's Thompson. Here's Brown. No luck. They battled on the glass, but couldn't knock it down. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. And some changes here for the Celtics. Luke Cornett, he's checked in for Thompson. Neesmith comes in for Jason Tatum. And Evan Fournier is subbed in for Brown. Philadelphia also making some changes. Joel Embiid comes in for Tobias Harris. And Matisse Thibel subbed in for Shake Milton. Boston leading by 14. Fournier passes to Walker. It's Fournier on the wing. Pass to Neesmith. Misses the three. Philadelphia has gotten the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it. Nine times they've missed. The chemistry Embiid has with his guys. I mean, he seems to know exactly when to go for these alley-oops. Boston's gotten cold from deep in the second quarter. Just two or six from long range. Walker's shot is off. Now the 76ers with it. They're on a 15-6 run. Passes it to Embiid. He doesn't hit that one. Now the Celtics take it the other way. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. And Williams with the stuff. You got to keep pace with Williams in transition. He's so good at just outworking everybody on the floor. Feeds it to Embiid. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got his fifth assist in this one. He's been fantastic, but he can't do it all by himself. Some of the other guys need to lighten the load and step up. Embiid with the steal. Now the 76ers on the break. Here's Curry. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Curry's got seven points for the quarter. Yeah, they've raised their shooting percentage in this quarter, and they're starting to get on track. Simmons against Walker. Fournier gets a wide open look. No good on the triple. And here's Simmons for three. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And so it's the Boston Celtics going into the break with a 10-point lead. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. And now.
the 2K Sports Halftime Show. A tremendous game we're seeing from Jalen Brown. He ended up with 17 points, 6 rebounds, and 6 assists. Taking a look at the Celtics, Shaq, what do you think? They shot a great percentage from the field, and not by accident. Their movement was good, they're making good decisions, and the coach loves to see that kind of efficiency. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on Philadelphia? Well, the perimeter D is <laughs> just too loose. I mean, there's no excuse for letting the team rain that many threes on you. And at that high a percentage, guys aren't fighting for screens. They're not staying with their shooters. They're not helping out. Just bad basketball on a defensive end. They've got to tighten it up on a high level in the second half. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. The 76ers trail by 10. Walker in fourth, the guards. Brown the small four with Tatum holding down the four spot. And it's Thompson in at the center position. That's the group for Brad Stevens getting going here in the second half. Pushing it up. That's a two-pointer from Walker. Misses off the left iron. And here's Embiid. He'll bring it up for the 76ers. And it's Green missing. Smart against Howard. Good D by Embiid. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. That's his great defense. Forcing his man into a difficult attempt. Here's Harris. There's Green with the three. Buries the long-range jumper. Green's got it back down to within single digits for Philadelphia. The Celtics shooting certainly a key for them in this one. 55% from the field. And you talk about the perfect veteran wing player. Danny Green's right at the top of that list. Solid defense, good shooter, and plays within himself. Thompson misses. That's a big donut, folks, here to start the second half. Four straight, they've missed. Drops in the tray. Harris has got 27 points. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from long range. And here's Walker outside. Swings it. What range from outside. Wow. And Greg, the experiences that Danny Green has had over the course of his terrific career, it's hard to match. I mean, he's won multiple titles in his career, done so in different places with different types of teams. He's seen it all and knows what it takes to succeed. Tatum and Philadelphia grabs the miss. Embiid's got double digit rebounds now in the game. Here's Simmons and Tatum pulls it down. Tatum's got his fourth rebound in this one. And slam dunk by Smart. Well, like a freight train running downhill, Smart unstoppable in the open. Field. The 76ers trail by seven. And Simmons kicks to Howard. Howard draws the double, and wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. He'll have a jump ball. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And they're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big-time D. And here are the 76ers now. There's Green with the three, and that comes off the assist by Dwight Howard. Howard's got six assists now in the game. Was so smooth in the catch and shoot. Green doesn't really need much time or space to get a shot off. They double team Walker. Thompson misses. The 76ers have gone four of seven to get things started here in the second half. The kick out to Walker. Offline with his three to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Green passes to Simmons. And they double up Simmons. And Kemba Walker is going to pick up the foul. That's his third foul of the game. Williams, he's checked in for Tristan Thompson. 
The 76ers also with a sub. Maxi's checked in. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Green passes to Maxi. That one's not going to go. Some solid defense from Brown. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. And now a chance to see what's coming up for the Philadelphia 76ers. On Wednesday, they'll go up against Russell Westbrook and the Washington Wizards. Then on Sunday, they'll be matching up with Chris Paul and the Phoenix Suns. You know, nobody loves playing on the road, but it does offer a good chance to see exactly what your team is made of. This team is going to find out a lot about itself over the next stretch of games. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Now, you can't tell me Walker is not one of the most fearless penetrators in the league. The D sometimes has no chance but to foul him hard. For Boston, they have been a perfect 8-8 eight eight at the line. That's good from Kemba Walker. A shoot first point guard who can fill it up in a hurry. That's Walker, and quite simply, he's one of the game's best scorers. George Hills checked in for the 76ers. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Uh, his free throw shooting is something they never need to worry about. He doesn't even know how to go through a cold streak. Kicks it to Howard. Hill passes to Embiid. He dishes it to Green. Just five to shoot. From downtown, Walker with some nice D. Celtics leading by six. In the corner, Tatum with it. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Tatum's got 18 points. You love the different ways that Tatum can score. Posting up, facing up, putting the ball on the floor. He's having a great night. Pass to Howard. Here's Maxi. Wow, came this close to a four-point boy. He'll head to the line for three free throws. Kemba Walker picks one up. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? Jabari Parker's checked in for the Celtics. And he's good on the second. He makes all three. And it's smart with the ball for the Celtics. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Brown. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. This will be his fourth shot at the line in this one. One of the areas where he has excelled all season long. How about 87% from the line? The 76ers trail by nine. And the 76ers call time here. You look at Jalen Brown, what a contribution. And he just keeps hitting shot after shot. They need to design a way to deny him basketball. Make someone else beat you. A moment here to look.
look at some numbers for MB. Seventh in blocks. And he's an elite glass eater, a factor inside among the top ten in rebounds per game. And his ability to patrol the lane is a difference maker for that team. Exceptional timing and, and anticipation. That's why he's a top ten shot blocker. Here's Hill. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Yeah, but the defense was determined not to give him an inch of free space. Tatum passes to Parker. And the dunk by Parker. Love seeing this kind of aggressiveness from Parker. Outstanding to flush it home with force. The 76ers trail by 11. To the left side wing. Embiid against Williams. That one is good from Joel Embiid. Embiid's got 16. I mean, he is tearing the defense apart. And let's face it, they have not brought their A game on that side of the ball. And again, Boston with the triple. Adding to his three-point total on the night. He had three in the first half. Now he's got his first one here in the second. Outside green. Embiid inside. He's against Parker. Embiid, no good. And the jam by Smart. You better get your money's worth with Marcus Smart. I mean, that Tiki Tech stuff won't fade. And not only is Smart one of the best defenders in the league, Greg, he's also one of the most versatile players in the NBA. Yeah, when you talk about players who can guard one through five, it's usually referring to Kawhi, PG-13, or Giannis. But Smart at 6'4 has the strength, the anticipation, and the toughness to hold his own against anyone. It's remarkable. And that one falls for Smart. A six foot four, 220 pounds. Marcus Smart might be the most physically imposing point guard in the league, especially with his fiery approach to the game. Hill kicks to Howard. It's back to Hill. Knocks it loose. Parker with the steal. Here's Brown. And Brown throws it down. No one has to step up his defense. I mean, Parker, efforts like this, they have to make the coaching staff happy. Here's the pass to Maxi. And they get it. And Tatum pulls it down. Tatum's got six rebounds here tonight. This one for three. And again, Boston with the triple. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their four space. But when he's hitting from range on a consistent basis, it makes everything easier offensively. Philadelphia moving the ball around. And slammed in by Howard. Now, this is the chemistry Howard has with this guy. He's fantastic at realizing when to go for alley -oop. You're smart. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Ahead for the finish. And slam dunk by Maxi. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And how about then not settling? I mean, instead of being lazy with the shot selection, they go right to the rim. And the dunk by Brown. Well, you see the confidence building in Brown offensively. I mean, first it was taking over stretches, uh, now it's taking over games. And so it's Hill with it. He brings it up for Philadelphia. It's an 18-point game. There's Embiid. And Boston with the rebound. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Brown outside. And it's good on the assist by Parker. Parker's got his third assist on the night. Well, with the roll, he's on this quarter. They're, they're going to keep going to him. They get that lead even bigger. That's to Maxi. Outside Hill. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Here's Brown. Maxi grabs the miss. The 76ers trail by 21. Howard finds Embiid. Things can turn around in a hurry. I mean, can't they? Last quarter, he was lights out. All of a sudden, nothing. Tucker trying to free himself up. Nice shot by Smart. Smart's got 23. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Passes to Maxi. Back to Embiid. 
shot to stop the run. Nice D for William. He's gone off the rails this quarter. It's a bad time to do it. I mean, but they're needing to fight from behind. And it's sent back by Howard. Howard, one of the most feared rim protectors in the league. Milton's shot is good. Time, out, time, out. time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. So Boston going with almost an entire new group. Luke Cornett, he's checked in for Williams. Williams comes in for Jabari Parker. D. Smith, he's checked in for Tatum. And Evan Fournier subbed in for Jalen Brown. Then for the 76ers, Tobias Harris is checked in for Howard. G. Steibel comes in for Maxi, And Curry subbed in for Hill. Oh, nice look there from Smart. Finding the open man. Milton kicks to Harris. And Jan shot. That's tipped. And he gets it back. And now let's have a look at the NBA's top snipers. Shooting guards with the highest percentage from three-point territory over the last month. You take a look at Green. Dangerous player from three-point land. A great talent with a great release. And, of course, Seth Curry. Another Shoot player two. that gets it done from beyond the arc. You don't have to be a great shooter to play two guard, but but it does help. And pretty much all of these guys fit into that great category. And having a reliable three-point option at off guard, pretty much a necessity these days in the NBA. good on the second so he hits one of two it's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that smart misses philadelphia shooting for the game at 42 percent mb wide open the 18 footer is right on the mark mbead has got four this quarter and the touch mbead has on his jumper i mean looking so soft and accurate coming out of the same it's stolen by harris now the 76ers on the break and that one's good. Feibel. Well, so often we see this transition buckets off turnovers. This is why coaches preach ball security to their teams. That sequence right there. Williams dishes to Fournier. No good from outside. The 76ers trail by 18. Harris trying to get free. Yep, that one goes in there. minute 20 left to play in the third. Cornette passes to Smart. Celtics passing it around. The shot's good from Fournier. And they're forcing the ball inside and it's working like a charm. Curry looking it over. Pass to Thibel. The three gets the three-pointer to fall. Curry's got 10 points in the game. But that's what they're looking for. They need him to take on a bigger role this game. Here's Cornette, and the shot is good. And the Celtics lead by 17. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Curry finds Embiid outside Curry. Here's Milton. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I'm talking about. I mean, the D is worrying too much about the other four guys. I mean, they can't give him open jump. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. He's ready. Oh, good on the three. And here we go. Philadelphia running again. Bible can't get it to go. In the corner, smart with it. And Embiid with the block. A stalwart on the defensive end. Embiid is superb at making his presence felt with blocks like that. One second left. Offline. 
And the length of Embiid really bothers shooters. I love how he uses it on the defensive end. And so it's busted. Riding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are pounding it down low. Back right after this. And meanwhile, Coach Brad Stevens talking to his team. Now, as we add stuff and add scores, don't let the little things get us off kilter. Okay? Play with boys. Let's go. Well, it's clearly Greg trying to keep his team on the same page. Yeah, I mean, really challenging his guys right now, encouraging them to just stay focused on the task at hand. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. So on the floor for Philadelphia, Harrison and Bede together in the middle. And Simmons is out there with Curry, and it's Tribal in at the small forward. First one drops. He's perfect from the line this time. Celtics leading by 13. Thompson outside. Back to Walker. Simmons with the defensive effort. And Simmons has got the ball here for the Philadelphia 76ers. Got a piece of it. And here's Thompson from deep. Walker knocks down the three ball. And the Celtics lead by 16. Look at Walker's percentages from beyond the arc. I mean, tremendous improvement over the last few years. And Simmons slams it in. Demonstrating how fast he is. Simmons enjoys going up to hammer home the alley. Walker against Harris. In for his seventh make in 14 tries. And, and those are the kinds of plays that are just killing them right now. Simmons passes to Harris. on the wing. The defense did a really good job of choking off the middle there once he got inside. And there's the pass to Neesmith. The Celtics working the ball around now. Lock at six. That one a little long. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Nailed from three-point land. Oh, uh, look, I love how Simmons makes his teammates better. He's consistent at looking to get them going. Fournier passes to Thompson. And here is Neesmith to the left wing. They double-team Walker. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. the 76ers now. Here is outside. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got assist number seven for him tonight. Knocks down his second three of the half. I mean, he had two of them in the first half also. Doing some solid work. Boston, no good that time either. The 76ers trail by 10. Right side Curry. Uncovered. Rebound by the Celtics. Thompson's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. He kicks to Walker. From the arc. It's hauled in by Harris. 
Harris has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And that one's good. Fibles. All these threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. They're trying to stem the tide here. Uh, yeah, they have to regroup and, and revisit their strategy at the defensive end. Some changes for Boston. Jason Tatum, he's checked in for Luke Cornett. Brown comes in for Neesmith. And Marcus Smart is subbed in for Evan Fournier. And then for Philadelphia, Hyde Howard's checked in for Matisse Thibel. And it's Green in for Curry. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alder. Well, I was able to listen in on what Brad Stevens had to say to his team. He said, keep grinding. We're in good shape. Things aren't always going to go perfectly. Don't let that slow you down. Let's just stick to what got us here. Kevin will see if they can build on this lead. Thank you, David. Gets the bucket and the foul. It's going to go on Tristan Thompson. Oh, the confidence of Simmons, a quick thinker who isn't afraid to go after steals and start the break. Good from Simmons. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Walker against Simmons. Right side to Walker. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley -oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. And the wide open shot from Green. And that won't go, missing the go ahead bucket. Austin's gone one and two from three point range here in the fourth. Back to Smart. Pass to Thompson. The dish to Walker. Five to shoot. Can they get it? Thompson misses. Philadelphia's gone three and four from downtown here in the fourth. For three, Harris. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three point bucket. But he'll go to the line to shoot three. It's going to go on Tristan Thompson. It and the next one could tie it up. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. Him up by one point. And so it's smart. He'll bring up the ball for the Boston Celtics. They 
could use a bucket. Austin again missing. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Harris kicks to Simmons. And they double up Simmons. Passes it to Harris. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Embiid from outside. Unable to get that one. And the Celtics going the other way now. Here's Tatum. Rebound by the 76ers. And here we go again. The 76ers on the break. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. And you've got to give them a lot of credit for just battling back into this game. There's no panic in them. I mean, staring at a big deficit, they still kept their poise and went to work. from Green. He's known as a three-point specialist. I mean, Green is also an excellent perimeter defender. A great role guy who plays within himself. And here's Tatum for three. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. Oh, great instincts. Relentless. Seems like he's getting to every miss. And it's Green missing. Celtics trail by four. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. This isn't like him. And he knows it. The best thing they could do is try to get him more easy looks. And with the game he's having, there's no doubt he'll be the guy they lean on to protect the lead. Tatum wide open. He fires one. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. Walker's got his eighth assist in the game. Simmons dishes to Green. Over to the left wing. And they double up and B. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. So it's Philadelphia now. Just four to shoot. And here's Green outside. And Boston with the rebound. Brown's got seven rebounds in the game. Smart, wide open, he fired. And the Celtics hit again from deep. And he's on his way to putting up a big three-point total. Simmons passes to Harris. Let's it go from 14. That's good on the jump shot. Harris has got 39. He's putting the hammer down. Dominant quarter for him, trying to push out that lead. Outside Tatum. And there's the call on Howell. That's his third foul of the game. And Philadelphia making a change here. Milton's checked in. Seventy Sixers on defense. Three-point lead. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And Boston has possession. That's a two-pointer from Walker. They get it back. Here's Smart. Off on the lane. And he's been a force on the glass all game long. He played with a doggedness and determination. That's how you end up with double-digit boards. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Perfect example of how to run the break the right way. And get a great look. Pass to Brown. And Walker kicks to Smart. Embiid comes with a double team. Just five on the clock. And here's Tatum for three. Here's Thompson and foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Look, I like how aggressive Thompson is inside. He's easily picking up fouls thanks to his massive size. Free throw good from Thompson. And you can't help but see the impact Thompson has in the paint. On both ends of the floor, he's a rock planted near the rim. 
Very strong legs that help him get to so many of those rebounds. And so Thompson nails both of them. And with Thompson, as you said, Greg, once he's planted in the paint, <laughs> good luck. I mean, think about it. About 40% of his rebounds are on the offensive end. He just refuses to get moved or boxed out. Combine that with his hunger on that end of the floor, and you see why he's such a great rebounder. And it's the 76ers with the ball. Harris finds Simmons. Oh, the lob for Simmons. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. 17-foot shot on the way. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. The first one falls. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And Simmons has got the ball here for Philadelphia. It's a one-point game. The pass to Milton. From deep three-point range, Jalen Brown with the rebound. Brown's got rebound number eight now on the night. Nice shot by Smart. Oh, great ball movement there. Philadelphia's got eight shots off from three-point land and hit half of them. Here's Harris, and slam dunk by Harris. Every season, I mean, Harris seems to enhance his offensive attack. He knows how important it is to keep getting better and better and better. Outside Tatum. From deep. Rebound by the 76ers. Harris has got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. A nice shot by Howard. Uh, this is what great players do. Howard relishes the chance to hit these important shots. Boston Trail. The three from Tatum. And B pulls it down. I don't know why he keeps shooting. Can anybody tell me nothing is falling for him? He's going to end the game on a bad note if he keeps this up. Wow. And slowly but surely, Harris is learning what it takes to become a leader. When this team needs him to step up. He has no issue dominating crucial possession. And they get it. It's hauled in by Harris. Harris has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. He feeds it to Simmons. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Smart. And he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. And you can tell he feels he should have had it still. The hustle was impressive. And Philadelphia making a change here. Green's checked in. Here is Howard. Outside, Simmons. Outside, Green. They get it again. Here's Embiid. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's going to go on Tristan Thompson. Hard to guard Embiid without fouling. He's awesome at forcing the defense's hand. I mean, literally. Drops for MB. Well, wow, it's all about the fun loving personality of MB because it is just awesome. I mean, this guy likes to have fun on and off the court. And MB drops them both. Oh, he's such a good free throw shooter. I mean, it frees him up to be as aggressive as he wants in the post. Tatum looking around. Here he's it from three-point range. 
Tatum's got 12 points in just the second half. And we talk about Tatum's demeanor. He didn't kill focus. So that, that's how you want taking big shots. Simmons passes to Embiid. And he goes right over Jalen Brown and slams it down. Well, how about the lick of Embiid? I mean, it's tough to deal with. Outstanding using it to gobble up offensive rebounds. Drops for MB. 136 left in the fourth quarter. And here's Tatum for three. Here's Brown. And MB with the block. Simmons with it. And they double up Simmons. Green passes to MB. And MB throws it down. That's the savvy veteran green. He's able to spot when his teammates aren't being covered. That's a nice read right there. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're behind by nine. 114 left in the fourth quarter. Now, let's present our New Balance player of the game, Tobias Harris. And, guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. He's really seemed to feed off the hostile environment he's been faced with tonight. Tatum shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Uh, yeah, the footwork, the positioning. Tatum's a difficult cover inside. the first and that brings them within eight and so he makes both from the line 11 left to play in the final quarter. Philadelphia leading by seven. And they double up Simmons. Embiid from outside. Trains the three-pointer. And it looks like just playing the last bit of this one out in what should be a nice win here for the 76ers. One of the areas that has been critical for them is second chance points we've seen from them tonight. A, a huge factor in this one, Kevin. The hustle on the offensive glass, the willingness to go after those rebounds, that was key. And so this is going to end up as victory number 24 on the year. And once they polish off this win, they'll be one more victory away from sweeping the season series. And as usual, some excellent work tonight in what was a quality big impact game for Joel Embiid. Well, the best work he did came on the boards. Nobody could match his intensity. His rebounding played a big role in this win. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that will put them up by nine. 
So Boston ends up going with a new group. Philadelphia also making some changes. Poirier's checked in. And Matisse Thibel subbed in for Danny Green. And Harris drops them both. Oh, you got to just have a sense of calm at the line. He has it here. And he just put the game to bed. Fournier, that's for two. Goes back up. And a lot of contact on that one. So he'll shoot two here. Good on the first, and that brings them within single digits. He hits both from the strike. Now, Thibel, and they can just let the clock run out here. Cannot argue with the W. Harris passes to Korkmaz. Here's Poirier. Harris outside. Now, here's Thibel. Back to Harris. So, the 76ers win it. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. So long, everyone.